Loyalty. Loyalty is everything. You know what it is. MD Uno. That's what I go by. <laughs> Zuzi on the track. Uh, now push me to the edge. Cuff me to the bed. Wrap your legs around my legs. Now turn your ass around. Yo, I go by the name of MD Uno. I'm from the south side of Atlanta, all over the south side. I'm a Clayco boy. Riverdale Road, Old Nat, Taylor Road, uh, Riverdale all the way. That's what I represent. Um, Morrow, you know, been there. Jonesboro, been there. Uh, I'm a south side nigga by way of New York, Long Island, Roosevelt. You know, that's why I sound the way I sound and talk the way I talk. Uh, Came to Atlanta back in 95. And, um, you know, I was raised out here. All my experiences in the streets, all my experiences, uh, you know, mainly in life come from Atlanta. So I'm a definitely a Georgia boy. I want, ultimately, I want people to uh, connect me with revolutionary. I want, I want it to be more than music, you know what I mean? I do this music thing and um, I, I take it very serious. I've been a recording artist since, since 16. But, uh, you know, I, I think about, I think back to myself at 16 and, and the impact and influence that music had on me. And I try to take that, you know, impact that I know music makes on lives and people, uh, especially the youth, and, and uh, you know, put, put, put a little bit of medicine in the candy. I ain't trying to preach to you, but ultimately I want people to remember me as a, a, a revolutionary, somebody that loved his people, people of color, poor people, you know, um, somebody that stood for the people, you know, because the, the masses of us are uh, poor. What would they say, the 2% are, are the richest in, in the world, but who, who's gonna stand for and really stand for the people, so I want people to remember me as somebody that stood for the people. Several, um, if you, you 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 get around to it, you can get a shot on my boy Piss Knock right there. Um, but Pac is my biggest musical influence. Um, Malcolm X, I, I I think that he was a man of integrity. He really lived by what he stood for growing up. Um, my mama really was big on love, not holding grudges, forgiveness, and not hating. And so I was huge on Martin Luther King. But then when I started to study and learn what Malcolm X was about, I embodied that, you know what I mean? And, and, and he's definitely impacted me as a man and, and the man of integrity that I try to be. Uh, far as artists, though, um, Eminem, I think he's slick. Um, uh, new, new, new school. K. Dot, artistically, he's dope. He, he, he knows how to put together a project really well. Uh, J. Cole is my favorite though, as far as mainstream artists. Um, I cannot forget about Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle is me in another life you know what i'm saying like if i didn't have the divine intervention and the railing that i had that would be you know that that would be my message everything that he on he, he's for the people and i'm for the people so you know th those are just a few andre 3000 is the one of the goats man I, I can't say enough about him he's a genuine dude um but it, too many tonight following your dream gets discouraging um in the sense that you're not where you want to be in life. But bigger than that is, like, with me personally, I realize regardless of the successes that I uh, accomplish, I'm somebody that has to do music. I have to get it out of me. I have to release this therapeutic and I got something to say, you know, whether it's 10 or 10,000 that I touch, uh, e even though I desire to um, impact the masses, I got to get it out. So, you know, 
I'm going to do music regardless uh, uh, of how big uh, of a following and platform that I'm able to uh, attract. But it, it's definitely uh, discouraging when you're not where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I can relate to anybody chasing a dream, but I've tried to uh, get to a place to where I'm not necessarily chasing a dream, but I'm just doing what I love. And uh, yeah, I, and, and I don't mean to prolong and go on and on and on, but story about my daughter, man, like I, I raised her up to be a, a, a woman that prays. Um, I got a project called Who Is God? And I got a song on there called No Religion, I Have No Religion. Um, I do believe that Christ is the Son of God, the begotten of the Father. I also took my Shahada at the age of 25, and I believe Allah is the same God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses, like the Quran and the Bible will teach you. And so I, 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 I don't believe that you have to be a certain religion to uh, identify with God or hear from God. And um, my daughter, to get to the story that I briefly wanted to share with you, um, you know, she she picks up, she has a discernment about it. She picks up on what's going on in life. When I was dealing with addiction, I remember I never shared with my nine-year-old daughter at the time that, hey, daddy's dealing with addiction to opiates. But she she has a gift, and, and she would pray, uh, God bless people with addictions. And recently, like literally last week, the I got a day job. I, I deal, deal in insurance. And... um. I had been so overwhelmed. And I remember on Monday night, my daughter, we pray, we pray together every night, you know, or try to pray together at least every night. She, she, she said a prayer for me and she said, God, help people that's dealing with pressure to not feel so much pressure. And when I tell you I had to smooth this week, this week, like God hears from my daughter, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that, like, because... My daughter's my everything, you know what I mean? Anything else in the world besides music? I want to deal in the arts. Um, so if it ain't music, I, I would say acting. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to deal in the arts and entertainment. I feel like I've been gifted in that area. And if, it, if it's up to me and what I'm doing for a living, I would deal in the arts in some form or fashion, even if it's not acting. It'll be writing behind the scenes. I wouldn't mind just writing for other people, which I have an artist um, on my label, One Nation Entertainment, by the name of Champ, who does R&B, and I've written for him. Um, you know, I've written for hip-hop artists. Since the age of 13, it was always just in me. I remember a dude named Rusty. I had a partner named Mario. He had a cousin named Rusty, and I used to write for him at the age of 13. So that's just what's in me. That 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 would be the work that I do that don't feel like work, you know what I mean? Just dealing in the entertainment into industry. I would collaborate with Mark Zuckerberg, if you're talking on that level. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, I, I, I say that because he's a, a, a software uh icon genius and I would want to come to him with uh, a, a, you know something to bring to the table more than an idea because I have a nonprofit organization called uh, Cure for Cancer Love Foundation and when I tell you if I could I would share with you what it is and what it's about and how the idea in itself is a billion dollar idea and if I ever had the opportunity to sit down with him, I would definitely want to have my patent in order before I shared the idea with him. Because I've seen Social Network, and I know that nigga, you know what I mean? He, he's, he's about Mark Zuckerberg, you know what I'm saying? So I would want to, you know, just um, have my, my, my legal lines in order. But I got a life-changing idea with this organization that I have, and I'm, I'm, I'm working on a patent. And, and once I get my patent straight, I would like to link up with him, Mark Zuckerberg. I just dropped a project on um, Halloween, October 31st. It's Dare to My Heart. It's called Hypocrypha. And for those of you who don't know, um, it derives from the word apocrypha. And what apocrypha means is hidden things. Apocrypha is a book of about 15 books that was originally a part of the King James Version of the Bible. And it was removed sometime between the 1500s and the late 1600s from the King James Version of the Bible. 
and I took the word apocrypha and collaborated it with the word hip hop, and I came to uh, came up with the word hypocrypha, presenting myself as an artist as a hidden thing, as a jewel, as a diamond in the rough. And um, this project, you know, it, 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 it doesn't delve into the apocrypha and what it's all about, but I just took that uh, from the sense of the word hidden thing and I'm presenting myself as a jewel. And this project is all about revolution. It's all about the evolution of me as an artist. You know what I mean? Because I've been doing this shit for a long time. And, um, you know, Hypocrypha is it's, it's available now for free download at www.md1music.com. Go check that out. Definitely shouts out to all my people. You know what I mean? Teamwork make the dream work. Uh, I got my man Boom here supporting me uh, today. And, and that's like my ace Boom Coon. You know what I mean? He's been rocking with me since the release of my first tr uh, project, Closed Chapter, back in 2010. And um, shouts out to the cartel agency and Candy Cartel and everybody over there doing their thing. I linked up with them in 2013, and uh, you know they they really dealt with me uh, in, in regards to uh, interviews, uh, performing, and uh, you know using social media as a, a network to establish yourself as an artist. So shouts out to the cartel agency. Um, shouts out to the whole One Nation camp, too many to name, uh, Los Adiz, Playboy Zay, shouts out Mom Dukes, you know what I mean, and uh, yeah, my daughter, Emerald.